first and foremost, we give our praises, glory, honor, power to the Most High, Yahweh, Bashem, Yahshai, Bashem, Rokakadash, Kwam Yashala, Kwam Yashala, Kwam Yashala. First and foremost, one more time, we give our praises, glory, honor, power to the Most High, Yahweh, to His only begotten and beloved Son, Yahshai, Yahshia, the one that the whole world called naively and ignorantly Jesus Christ, right? Shall want to all my brother out there online. Shall want to all the kings. Shall want to the brother, the sister doing the work of the Most High with love and sincerity. The brother pushing up for the work of the Most High every day, man. And we say big shout out to all the brother out there. The brother that continue to be diligent, right? They're bringing out the work day and night. They're posting precept. The brother doing a lot of work. Hey, keep it up, brother. The Most High will increase you, man. The Most High will increase you, right? Shall one, shall one. We want to put out there for YouTube. As a copyright, you know, copyright issue, right? So if you hear music in the background, this is you know, our music. You know our music. I right? understand. That. You know our music. We ain't playing it. We ain't need it. I right? understand that we just doing the work of the most high. One more time, disclaimer: If you hear music in the background, I'm not playing. It's not my music. I do not own the music, and I'm not playing it just to put out there, right? As I say, because you know, YouTube. You know, I go out there do the work of the most high. You know, Northern Kingdom, we play music. See what I'm saying? Yeah, then now I can do about it, right? So Shalom, Shalom King, Shalom King, our praises, our praises be unto the Most High. Our praises be unto the Most High, man. Our praises, our praises. Shalom King, and Kwam Yashala, Kwam Yashala, brother. Hey, great to see you, bro. It's beautiful, right? It's a beautiful, beautiful, man. In Babylon the Great, right? Let's go right here, man. Let's go quick to this precept. I want to bring this precept out quick, right? Because today, you know, the brother was letting me know that there was a young sister in Boston, right? In Boston, I can't remember the city exactly, but the sister, she was only 16 or 17 years old. She was found dead, like hang on a tree, something like that, right? But according to the history or uh, to the story, what is what's happening, like she got into fight with some some Edomite, right? Some Edomite, right? They got into some argument or something in her apartment, right? So we hear a rumor, supposedly that those Edomite, you know, they kind of tie the sister, something like that, they beat her and they rip her, and then something like that, right? However, you know, we live in Babylon, man, there's no justice in this land. So they're trying to cover it up, right? They're trying to cover it up. They don't want people to know. So what they're making it sound like, they're making it all say, and you know what, we ain't gonna say right now is that is a hate crime or is a racist thing. Why? Because, you know, it has to do with who? A so-called black sister, right? and a so-called white people. You see what I'm saying? So they try and cover it up, bro. They try and cover it up, man. Young sister, 16 or 17 years old. I'm gonna try to pull up the article from my other phone, you know, to read it, to see what happened exactly. You see what I'm saying? And that's the main reason why we call on our people, mainly our people, the so-called blacks, Latino and native Indian, that with the people of the Bible, this is a high season, this is a high time. This is a fishing season right now that we repent and seek the most high now that it's possible, man. Because the blood of Yahweh Mashiach is because of us. He was slain. He died because of us, because of our sins, so that we can repent and go back onto the Most High. But our people don't want to listen. They get caught up into all this doctrine of devils out there, man. Because, you know, we all used to be part of the Christian church, right? Until the Most High woke us up. We know what's going on in the Christian church. We tell you, you come out from the Christian church and repent and keep the commandment of the Most High. Repent and keep the commandment of the Most High because, hey, it's about to get seriously like nasty, man. Maybe the coming day, the coming years, hey, who knows when it's gonna start, man. That's why we want the brother daily, man. We want the brother, the sister. We tell the brother and the sister to stay in the spirit. What is the spirit? The word of the Most High. The gospel, the good news. And we tell everybody to make sure that we line it up according to the Bible. That's all we got to do. So let's go right here. What is our duty? What are we supposed to be doing? The so-called blacks, Latino and native Indian. What are we supposed to be doing on the earth? Are we just, are we just being made on the earth just to make money and work? Just make money and work? Or are we just being made to be slaves? Right? All over the place. Let's go right here in the book of Ecclesiastes. Right? We will go to Ecclesiastes, right? Let's go in the book of Ecclesiastes, right? This is the book of Ecclesiastes. Right, I'm going to go into Ecclesiastes chapter 7 and verse 7 first. This is the book of Ecclesiastes chapter 7 and verse 7. He says, Surely oppression make a wise man mad, and a gift 
destroy the heart. So you got to understand that when we see the oppression, the thing we got to go through as a nation every day, not only here in Babylon, the place, in West Africa, right? In places, understand that, right? Right? In places, understand that. When you see all those things we got to go through as a nation, you sit down and you question yourself, what's going on? Why are we being oppressed? Why are all these things happening, man? Why is all these things happening? Why are we catching hell, man? You got to think about it, right? But people, they don't think on a, on a, on a deep level. They think on the surface. They think about just today, right? You can't just think about today, right? Let's go right here in the book of Ecclesia still. Let's stay right here. What is the role of us, the so-called blacks, Latino and native in them, right? right? What is our duty on earth? What are we supposed to be doing for the most high? Are we just supposed to be here, you know, watching TV, playing soccer, football, basketball, just making money, trying to be rich? Is that what we're supposed to be doing on earth? Let's go ahead and read it. This is the book of Ecclesiastes chapter 12 and verses 13 through 14. And it read, let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. Fear Yahweh and keep his commandment. For this is the whole duty of man. For Yahweh shall bring every word into judgment with every secret thing, whether it be good or whether it be evil. That's what we're supposed to be doing. Let's go in the book of Deuteronomy, right? That's where the sister, right? The sister just got slain, right? Murder. Let's go right here in the book of Deuteronomy chapter 28. And we're going to read verses 15, right? This is the book of Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 15. But it shall come to pass, right? It shall come to pass. So like here, bear with me. But it shall come to pass. If thou, who is thou? Thou. Thou is the old English word. That's me, you. Who is the you here? The so-called blacks, Latino and native in the Seminole Indian. According to your father, number 118, Ezra 2 and 52 or 54. Keep in mind, it's based on your father, right? You are what your father is. You got to understand that. Keep that in mind, right? We don't want to hear, okay, my mom is half Italian. My dad is this. No, that's garbage. We don't believe that, okay? That's garbage. That's for Esau. Esau believes that they have this. I'm half Salvadorian. I'm half, no, that's garbage. We don't believe that. Understand that, right? You are what your father is, okay? Because if you take a tomato seed from here and you go plant the same tomato seed in China, guess what? We will, we'll give you we'll give you tomato. You understand that? You see red white tomato. You can't take mango seed from here and go plant it, for example, in Nicaragua, and it's gonna give you oranges. It doesn't work like that. So you are what your seed, you are what your father is, so you gotta keep that in mind, right? So don't come out and you believe, yeah, you know, I'm half this, I'm half that. That's garbage. Point blank pure. I tell you that straight up. Don't waste your time. It's based on your father, right? It's based on your father. The man is the one that carry the seed. The man is the one that carry the seed. And the woman is considered what? The earth, the ground. Where do you plant the seed? You plant the seed in the ground. Understand that, okay? So we just want to put out there. So the you right here is referring to the so-called blacks, Latino, and native Indian. The most I was talking to us, how do we know? We go in the beginning. Let's go in the beginning. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 1, right, and verses 1. Let's go over there. So for argument's sake, somebody, a common boy, somebody that they don't know, they, they might be new to the truth, right? A brother, a young brother, a young sister. They might be new to the truth, but they never heard of this thing, right? So we got to give them a quick breakdown, a quick understanding. So let's see, who is the most I speaking to? The you that I'm referring to, that the most I'm referring to, that I'm saying, the so-called blacks, Latino and native, let's go right here and let's find it out. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 1, in verses 1, right? This be the word which Moses spake unto all Israel. So you see right here, to all Israel. He didn't say to the Christian. He didn't say to the Moabite. He didn't say to the Edomite. He didn't say to the, you know, Hamite. No, he said unto all Israel. So you got to keep that in mind. So the Moses is addressing his chosen people, right? The people that he afforded knew. Okay, understand that, right? He said, Deuteronomy 1 and 1, this be the word which Moses spake unto all Israel on this side Jordan in the wilderness, in the plain against the Red Sea between Paran and Tophel in Laban and Hezeroth and Isahab. So you got to keep in mind, straight up to the point, the Moses is addressing who? The 12 of Israel. The 12 of Israel, the so-called blacks, Latino, and native Indian, right? So keep that in mind, right? So when you read the Bible, you got to understand who is the Moses I talking to? <laughs> Who is the most addressing? Don't run to John 3.16, okay? Because John 3.16 is not talking about the whole world. 
John 3 16, there was a private confession which was held in the night time. Night time. All of a sudden, everybody want to be in the John 3 16, okay? All of a sudden, everybody want to be in the John 3 16. For God so loved the world. No, it doesn't work like that. John 3 16 was being addressed unto the wicked and the rebellious of our people, right? Those that don't believe in the Messiah. They don't want to obey the gospel. They don't want to obey the good news. And that the most of us are just addressing them, right? So you got to keep that in mind. So let's go back to Deuteronomy chapter 16, 28, and verse 15. But it shall come to pass, if thou will not hearken unto the voice of the Lord Yahweh, to observe, to do all his commandments, and statutes which I command thee this day, that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. So we got to understand. The most I said, listen, you don't want to listen to this thing I'm telling you? Hey, I'm going to place some curses upon you. There will be curses upon who? The so-called blacks, Latino, and Native Indian. That's why when we get killed, guess what? If so won't acknowledge it. If it's a so-called black man, a so-called Latino man, a so-called Native Indian, whether it be a man or a woman, guess what? If so doesn't care about it, right? If so doesn't care. Or they're going to tell you, you know what, we're going to go to a trial. Even though you get shot, you know, broad daylight, right before everybody, still guess what? Israel will not acknowledge it, because guess what? We ain't got no value before them. They understood, they know very well that these people, they're the children of the Mosai, and the Mosai place curses upon us. As long as we're going to continue to live in sin, right? Let's go right here. Deuteronomy chapter 27. Before I forget about that. This is the book of Deuteronomy, right? Chapter 27, and we're going to read from verses, the last verses, pretty much, right? Okay, this is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 27, and verse 26. And he read, Curse be he, he's talking about both men or women, right? Because if you don't know, the Bible is written in a masculine form. Understand that? Okay? Because the Mosa is the man of war, understand that, right? That's what the 15 and 3. The Mosa is the man of war, right? The Mosa. You know, he set up everything based on the men, right? The first that was created was what? The men, okay? Adam was the first one, okay? Then what? The woman. And that's why the Mosai, when he gave the word, he made sure that the man is always what? The leading figure. The man, not the woman. Understand that. And this is not to bash up any sister or mother. Up. No, it's just a pure fact. This is just truth, right? Just keep that in mind, right? Shalom, King, Shalom, Shalom, all praise be unto the Most High, Yahweh, Bashem, Yahushai, Bashem, Raka, Kadash, Kwam, Yashala, right? So the Most High, he made sure that what? The leading figure is the man, not the woman, right? Because a lot of you out there, women, you keep it, you got in your mind and you rule over your men, that's of the devil, buddy. If you rule over your men, you think that you're equal to the man, that's the spirit of Satan right there. If you think you're equal, you are a woman and you feel like you're equal to the man, hey, you got some demons on you. You might want to go clean yourself up. You might want to go repent quicker before it's too late. Because you can't think that you're equal to the man. That's what they taught you here in Babylon the Great. In Babylon the Great, they make you believe that, yeah, you're equal to the man. And a lot of our sisters, they see caught up into that weakness. That we pray that the sister, they repent and they come out of it. Right? We pray that the sister, they repent and they come out of it before it's too late. Otherwise, hey, it is what it is. So let's read it. Say, curse be he, right? That confirmed not all the words of this law to do them. And all the people shall say, Amen, hallelujah. You see, hey, hey, it's plain and simple, right? It's plain and simple. They want we be gunned down, we be killed, we be arrested over things that don't even matter, and be taken to jail, locked up for things like that. Things that don't even matter. Things according to the Bible are not even seen. It's not even seen. These are the law of Esau, Esau Edom, that he set up to oppress the children of the Most High, the so-called Blacks, Latino, and Native Indian. That's the whole idea. Right? This is not our rest. It's just that we've been, like, pacified, right? We've been put in a dark house state where we don't see. The majority of our people, they're blind. They don't know what's going on. The majority of the so-called Blacks, Latino, and Native Indian, they don't know what's going on. They're blind. Right? They're blind, the majority of them. Right? But we will address it. And we'll bring out that sort of Mosai and that sort of Mosai, right? Right. Bear with me. It's a living window here, man. Right. 
So we got to keep in mind, as a nation, the most sad, he requires things that we got to do. Let's go in the book of Nehemiah. I'm going to go to Nehemiah chapter. Let's go right there, straight to it. Nehemiah, right? Right. This is the book of Nehemiah. Right. We're going we're gonna to give understanding to the brother. Right. This is the book of Nehemiah chapter 8. Right. This is Nehemiah chapter 8. And verse 8. He says, so they read in the book of the law of Yahweh distinctly. So you got to understand distinctly. That means what? Precept upon precept. Line upon line. Here and there and there. Who did that? Nehemiah. Estras. Isaiah. Ezekiel. That's what they did. Right. He said, so they read in the book of the law of Yahweh distinctly so because a lot of you out there you said the lord done away with right hey the lord done away with hey he's on you buddy if you want to believe that hey he's on you sister he's on you brother it's up to you so they write in the book right in the law of yahweh distinctly and gave the sense and caused them to understand the reading and that's what we come out here to do you want to cause the brother and the sister to understand the word of the most high that's the most high that's the most high and that's the most high what did Yahweh Shemashiach say? If you love me, keep my commandment. John 14 and 15, and then you jump to verse 21. So we got to keep in mind, as a nation, the reason why we're suffering, the reason why we go through what we go through is because we've been rebellious toward the Most High. We will not keep the commandment. We will not obey the Most High. I, most of our people, they don't have Bible in the house. Most of the so-called blacks, Latino, and they got their Bible in the house. But the Bible is full with dust. They don't read it. They don't read it. They do not read the Bible. Right? Let's go right here. I'm going to grab another Bible quick. Right? I'm going to address the point quick. Let's go right here. So we got curses. These curses were placed upon us so that they will be, we'll be able to identify who are the Israelites. The transatlantic slavery. Right? The oppression. The slaughter of the native Indian. Right? The native Indian. The so-called native Indian. Right? That were murdered. That were exterminated in the head of the Edom. Esau Edom. Why? Because our forefather, the northern kingdom, they went into idolatry 24-7, right? Let's go right here. Let's address the, let's go in the book of Deuteronomy still. I'm going to go over there. This is the book of Deuteronomy chapter 28. And we're going to read verses 45. He said, moreover, all these curses shall come upon thee and shall pursue thee and overtake thee till thou be destroyed. So the most I have played in the game, buddy. It doesn't matter what you call. You can go set up in China. You can flee, you can go set up in France, you can come to America, it doesn't matter. Most I said these curses, they're gonna follow the Israelites, the so-called blacks, Latino, and native, wheresoever we go, it doesn't matter. And I'm gonna give you an example. Maybe you have not heard yet, so you do know that some of our brother, our brethren, they are moving to Jerusalem, right? Some of them living in the city or the area called Timona, right? Guess what happened? A couple of days ago. The synagogue of Satan. Now, if you don't go, you don't know who is the synagogue of Satan. Let's go right here. Let's go into it, right? Because we might have a young brother or a young sister that just woke up in the truth. They don't know who is the synagogue of Satan. Who is the synagogue of Satan? Let's go to the Bible. Let's go to the Mosai so the Mosai can give us understanding. Right? Let's go right here. All right? Let's go in the book of Revelation chapter 2 and verses 9. All right? The kings already know where I'm going. The brother, they are, they are already know. This is the book of Revelation chapter 2 and verses 9. I know that works and tribulation and poverty, but thou are rich. Why did the most I say we're rich? He just said we poor. Yeah, we poor. Why? So when it comes to like things of this world, we poor. We are poor. We don't own. We don't have it right now. But spiritually, we rich. Right? He said, I know that work and tribulation and poverty, but thou are rich. Because when you go in the book of war. Romans chapter 9, Paul, he gave you the breakdown. Why did the most they say we reach? Because everything, right? The adoption, right? The priesthood, the blessing, the kingdom, right? The law, all those were given unto Israel. Isn't that beautiful? All those were given unto us, but our people don't understand. They don't want to hack, they don't want to listen. Our people refuse to listen unto the most high. They refuse to keep the commandment. Since the time of Moses, until this very last day, it's just that this time is getting worse and worse. Right? Back in the time of our forefather, it was it was worse, but not like as of today. Right? He said, let's continue here. I know the blasphemy of them which say they are Jews and are not. 
but are the synagogue of Satan. That's the most high. The most high said they are the synagogue of Satan. They claim to be the Jew. That's why they call themselves Jewish. And they call themselves Israeli. Right? Because they know very well that they are not the Israelite. And the most high makes sure. You know, that's how the most high operates. The most high makes sure that Satan gives them the word Israeli. They didn't call themselves Israelite. Because the most high doesn't want them to call themselves Israelite. And that's why the most high makes sure that Satan gives them the word Jewish. They call themselves Jewish. They wish to be a Jew, right? Because when you look at the word Jewish, we learn basic English from them, right? Israel what told us about the surface, right? Surface, I-S-H. The surface, I-S-H, just me were pretending like you, you try and be, like I said, blackish, right? Reddish, whitish. That means not really white. It's not really black. It's like, look like this, but it's not really. You understand? So that's the point. So that's why it's not by coincidence. No. It's by design. The most High is the mastermind. The most High already know that. Guess what? They're going to take over the land. They're going to claim this and that. And the most High say, okay, don't worry. The most High called already his angel. He asked them, who is going to go convince Esau to make sure that Esau, he called himself Jewish. And some of the angels say, Lord, hey, I'll do it. And the most High told the angel, you know, hey, go ahead and you shall prevail. And the angel went and he gave them the word she wish and they took it. You see that? Hey, that's how the most I hope. Man. Our praise be unto the most I Yahweh. Man. Bless be the Lord Yahweh forever and ever. Amen. Hallelujah. Same thing. They could have called themselves Israelites, but they don't call themselves Israelites. They call themselves Israeli. So they understood. You understand what I'm saying? And that's the point. Because before they picked that name, the most I already got out the angel. They went to the most I, all the spirit. Then the most I be like, okay, you know, who can convince them? Who can convince this demon, this devil to do this thing, man? And the angel of the most I, they be like, you know what, Lord, I'll do it. I'll do it. Then the most I say, okay, yeah, I don't like that. I like this one. Okay, hey, hey, listen, you go, you prevail. You go ahead and give them the, the name Israeli. You see that? But people don't understand. It's not by coincidence. Because some of y'all be thinking like coincidence. No, man, it's not by design. Okay, the most already know the most already set up everything from the beginning, man. He already knew what's gonna go down. Understand that? Okay, so let's go right there. He said, and wish that they are Jew and are not, but are the synagogue of Satan. Okay, so if you follow them, guess what? You follow Satan. If you worship them, you worship Satan. Understand that? Let's go to the next chapter, right? This is the book of Revelation, chapter 3, and verses 9. Behold. I will make them of the synagogue of Satan, okay, the same group of people that claim to be what? The real Jew. They know very well that they are not a Jew. They know. Hey, listen, if you happen that you don't know, then that's your problem. Okay, understand that. He said, Behold, I will make them of the synagogue of Satan, which said they are Jews and are not. Oh man, all oh, praise be unto the most high. Because our people didn't know this until the 1950. Our forefather, the majority, we start waking up back to our true heritage. Maybe around the 1940 or 50. Not that long ago. But these people, they've been claiming for decades, for years that hey, there they are. There we go. He said, Well, it are not but do lie, behold. I'll make them to come and worship before their feet and to know that I have loved thee. Hey, there we go. Our praise be unto the most high Yahweh, man. And that's what we tell the brother and the sister, man. Repent and keep the commandment of the most high. Right? So let's go right here. He said, Moreover, all these curses shall come upon thee and shall pursue thee and overtake thee till thou be destroyed because thou hearkening us unto the voice of the Lord thy God. So this brother and sister, they live in a demonic, they move. The majority of them move from different areas. Some some move from Atlanta, Georgia. Some move from Chicago, various places, right? I got brother in the troop before that told me too. You know, hey, a couple of years ago, bro, hey, you know, hey, let's think about moving. I say, hey, listen, man, I don't want to move over there, man. Because according to the Bible, the prophecy, we are not supposed to go over there, right? Is that us going ahead of the most side? So this brother living in that place, what happened to them? The the, the 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 synagogue of satan just gave them a warning just gave them what 60 days to leave the country like i think like 46 46 family 
So they're telling for his family that they got to leave. They got to leave Israel. They got to leave it. Oh, they're going to get deported. However, when they get deported, they're going to be deported pretty much here in the USA, which is, hey, it is what it is. Hey, that's what the most I say. The curse is to follow us everywhere we go. It doesn't matter where you run to. You can run to Japan. You can go in the grave. You can hide in your bunkers. The most I'll see bring it up on you, man. The most I'll see bring it up on you. So you have to give your understanding. Right? Let's see. He said, because it is till thou be destroyed. So the purpose of the curse is being upon the so-called blacks, Latino, and until we be destroyed. And what happened to us? Hey, we've been destroyed as a nation, right? He so he made sure also that guess what? This guy, hey, we want him to be totally destroyed, right? Hey, hey he works. He works. Why? So we won't listen. Okay, he said, because thou hearken and us unto the voice of the Lord, thy power, Yahweh, to keep his commandment and his statute which he command thee. Hey, there we go. We don't want to listen. We don't want to keep the commandment, right? And that shall be upon thee for a sign and for a wonder. You see that? Right? And that shall be upon thee. Okay? Right? It's going to be upon us for a sign and what a wonder. Understand that? He said, hey, upon thy seed forever. So you got to understand that. Upon our seed forever. Because thou servest not the Lord, Yahweh, thy power with joyfulness and with gladness of heart for the abundance of all things. Therefore shall thou serve thy enemy, which the Lord, Yahweh, shall send against thee. Hey, who sent Israel against us? The Mosai. Right? Who sent this Edomite against us? The Mosai. Why? Because of our doing. Who sent this Edomite against our forefather, the northern kingdom? The Mosai Yahweh. Why? Because we sinned it against the Most High. We came to the fire right before the living power, Yahweh. It's plain and simple. That's why we've been gunned down. We've been killed. Right? He said, Therefore shall thy serve thy enemy, which the Lord Yahweh shall send against thee in anger, and in thirst, and in nakedness, and in want of all things. And he shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck until he have destroyed thee. The Lord shall bring a nation against thee from far, from the end of the earth, as swift as the eagle flyer, a nation whose tongue thou shalt not understand, a nation of your countenance, right? Which not regard the person of the old, nor show favor to the young. And that's Esau right there, man. They apply boom to who? Esau, Edom. Okay? Let me show it to you. Some of y'all don't believe me. This is Esau right here. The Esau came over here. And slew northern king, right? Then he start bringing up down who? Judah, Benjamin, Levi, right? And start slewing also them, right? So you gotta keep in mind, the most I'm playing no game, man. This is Easter for you, right? Some of y'all love Easter, right? This is Easter for you. Okay, this is Easter for you. There we go. Right, you got Easter right here. This is Easter. That the, that the one, that the one told you you gotta speak Spanish, you gotta speak French, you gotta speak English. Is this who told you that, right? Why? Cause we won't listen. We don't wanna keep the commandment of the Most High, and that's what happened. And that's why they see ruler upon us until this very last day, right? Let's go right here. Let's get into it, right? Let's get into it. Let's go right here. Let me grab another Bible quick. Let's go right here. Let's go in the book of Jeremiah. Let's go in the book of Jeremiah.